second phase go. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Smiley Face Go with a tutorial. Uh, doesn't make any sense, Smiley Face Go. Well, anyways, hope you guys are having a great day and stuff. Um, have you ever wanted to use Shadow Play and listen to your music and avoid the copyright strikes that are gonna be on your YouTube later? Well, I found a way. I've been looking all over the internet. There's pretty much only one way to do this, I mean one solution out there, um, but I figured because it's 2013 and I found a different way to do this so that you don't need to use audio repeaters and start that whole redundant process over and over and over again every time you start your computer and just want to play a game, instead you can just get straight into it. Um, I decided that this would probably be a good thing to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing you're actually going to need is going to be virtual audio cable, which you can find here. You actually just search for virtual audio cable on Google, go to their home page, um, you go down, down, down to wherever there's a big gigantic red thingy right there, you can buy it online. Now, you can do it this way or there are other ways to get it for free because well there are these ways to get it for free the trial versions but that actually has like a little voice that comes on and says you're using the trial version you're using the trial version you're using the trial version um, there are ways to get the unlocked free version that's all I'm gonna say so anyways once you've got virtual audio cable all set up, you can look at YouTube on, you can search in YouTube virtual audio cable setup. You can do it that way. You're going to have it all installed. You're going to go down to your virtual audio cable and you don't need to use any of these repeaters ever, ever. So you click on the control uh, panel. You're going to set up four cables Then you're done. Just set up four cables Then you're going to go over to your, um, little speaker right here right click go to playback devices that's gonna give you like four different lines line one line two line three line four I've re I've renamed mine you can do that by double clicking on it um, you can type anything you want anything with two words and it'll show up as anything but I've got that set up as comms because I want that to actually be where I send my Skype team speak, Discord, all that good stuff, whatever you want to call it, set it up that way and all that good stuff. Um, I've set it up one for my comms, I've set up one for game, and I've set that as default device by right clicking on it, and it's, yeah, it actually doesn't say right there, but you can click on any of the other ones. It'll say it's set as default device, click on that, and then that'll be your default device and your line 4 but make sure you remember before you set your default device which one your original default device was which for me was speakers and that will come in handy and then you're gonna set up line 4 because I just set up line number 4 just for who knows what might happen in the future might need something extra maybe somebody's gonna be on Skype maybe someone on TeamSpeak and I don't know different people don't have the same thing I might be able to set it up so that I can mix them all and you'll set one up I've got this called VLC because this media player actually allows me to, to select which um, outlet is actually going to play into now for recording you're gonna see the same uh, pictures right here same names after you set them you're gonna wanna double click on all of them have them listen to the original default device now what this is actually going to do is whenever you play a song and it actually goes to the speakers or the whatever device you've actually set it to then it'll actually show up here and you can see right here, you can see the little things bouncing up. I'm going to turn the volume so you can see it. I'm sure that you could actually hear all that good stuff right there playing, which is good. And you can actually set that to do whatever you want to do. 
but I'm going to keep it here. Set it as VLC. It's actually going to show up down there. Yeah, it was a little bit of sound there, and then it switched to over here. Now, you actually can't hear it because it's actually on VLC, but when I change it back to the game, you can actually hear it on um, Shadowplay. Now, the way Shadowplay works is it only cares about the default devices. So it's only going to record a game, and it's only going to record the microphone that's actually the default device for that one. So yeah, that actually works like that. So now that everything is set up and you've set your all your recording ones to be double clicked upon and listen to speakers, each and every one of them, then it's time to have fun. Now, the way that games work is they're automatically going to push sound through the default device, which is going to be the game. That's actually going to show up in Shadow Play, as you can see by hitting the Alt and Z and I've got my microphone on and all that good stuff. It's actually gonna be recording. If you've got instant replay on, or you could just record it if for whatever reasons you might wanna be doing. So I'll back out of that. That's running and that's all alive and well. Now, we're gonna go ahead and hop into a game. I'm gonna play this audio and I'm actually going to show you before I do that how to set up like Skype. You're gonna go to the call and then into audio settings and then you guys see they'll see the microphone working but for the speakers you're gonna set it to go to comms that way you actually won't be able to hear it but through the shadow play but I'll be able to hear it and the way I'm gonna be able to prove this is I'm gonna run, go ahead and run DX story I've got it set up to record the game audio microphone my comms and VLC and for comms to test that, I'm going to run a sound echo service, whatever echo sound serve, test service, whatever. So we're going to hop into a game right here. And we're going to play some Infinite Warfare. Which is going to be fantastic. So yeah, you can actually hear me right now. I'm going to start playing some music. I can hear it because it's on VLC virtual audio people. The only thing you can hear is my voice in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Space to start. Um, we're gonna start a custom game here. I'm gonna set some bots so that you can hear the sound. Go back. Frontier is a good map, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and start the match. Now I'm going to switch this audio device back on my thing here so that you can hear some music. And then I'm going to switch it so that you can't hear any music. Now, to run this test, I'm going to start um, DX Story. You're going to see this turn red. DX Story is actually working. And it's actually recording the audio from this right here. And I'm going to switch it back so that you can hear it on Shadow Play. And it's also mixing into the regular audio. Now I'm gonna put it back on VLC. And I can still hear the audio. And I'm gonna auto assign, start out with a load of ghost out. Match. Yeah, you can actually see that. that just put us in the lead. All that good stuff. Now I'll go back to show you and run an echo sound sound uh, test service. Now you actually won't be able to hear this, but I can actually hear the ladies speaking right now. And after the beep, I click the end button, and that's Infinite Warfare. So anyways, we're going to go back into the original and we're going to um, show you that both of these actually work perfectly. Okay, we're back on the desktop and we're actually gonna start Sony Vegas and I'll be able to show you that I actually have the different um, files saved. One for the desktop, where are you, uh, D drive? Uh, 
And let's see. Yeah, we'll use it's this one, I think. Sure, why not? I'm gonna move this one to the end. And let's get some game, get it in game. And we'll actually, at the same time, we're gonna go ahead and load in the one from DX Story to show you everything was the same. So, this is what happened. Yeah, you can actually see that. All that good stuff. Now I'll go. So you can actually see all that good stuff. And I think this is where I record all that good stuff. Start out with a load of gun stuff. Yeah, you can actually see that. All that good stuff. So yeah, show all that good stuff. All that good stuff, yay. So what I'm going to do is turn off the game volume. You can only hear me. And now I'll go back to... And I'm going to auto assign, start out with a load of gust out. Yeah, you can actually see that. All that good stuff. So yeah, I can come back here, I can turn my voice off, and only have the, the music and the game playing. I can make it so that only my voice is saying stuff. All that good stuff. All that music bleed in the earphones. But this is actually going to be the actual music right here. And you can completely hear it. And I can turn off the sound and all that good stuff with DX Story. That's good and all that, but the main thing is you can use Shadow Play to have. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show this guy call. The beat. So I played it right here with the end button. I did not have a and an actual uh, sound for that, but right here you can actually hear exactly all that was going on during that sound uh, test service. Hello, welcome to Skype for testing service. This, After the beep, please record a message. Right Afterwards, now. your message will be played back to you. After the beep, so yeah, you can actually hear all that's happening, but not being recorded, because the game audio and the microphone audio was exactly what was going on over here so and that's infinite warfare and that's infinite warfare I guess and we played around around here and that's infinite warfare so it sounds the same you can't actually hear the music can't actually hear the um, Skype or any of that audio or whatever and all that good stuff anyways I hope this um, tutorial has been amazingly good for you. Um, no audio repeaters, you can restart your computer and everything stays the same. So you can just jump right into a game, start your music, put it on a different uh, virtual audio cable than the default audio device, listen to your music as loud as you want to, and have fun. Play your hype music, all that good stuff. Anyways, this has been Smiley Face Go with a rare tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments or concerns or problems, hopefully I could help you out. Go ahead and leave a comment. I'll hopefully I can get back with you. Have a great day and stuff.